Hi, Forrest Tanaka. I haven't done an unboxing video before, but I just received a new telescope mount. It's the Celestron Advanced VX. This is a really new mount, and a lot of stores that will carry it don't even have it yet. But uh, I got mine just a few minutes ago, so I thought I'd open it up and see what's inside. So let's have a look. This box weighs, I actually measured it, 60 pounds, so it's uh, not that easy to carry, but still the UPS delivery person seems to have been able to do it. So inside this box is a box. Okay, so we got the instruction manual. Looks rather thin, but I guess you don't really need that much. Typical, oh, there's even a CD. So, um, instruction manuals for telescopes and mounts are typically not that expensive. Okay, so we've got bunch of boxes in here. I assume this long one is the tripod part. Let's get that out first. Oh wow, and this is pretty heavy. Feels like this must have been the bulk of the weight. And this looks really, really sturdy. So that's good. Telescope mounts should be really sturdy. Got uh, two inch legs here. And this feels like it is not going to want to move. Okay, so there's another part here, which is to keep the legs a little more stable. And to hold some eyepieces, which we won't be using, or I won't be using. And uh, so this probably goes on top. Okay, so that's pretty stable. Now, it's important that you uh, level your telescope when you get to the site. And it looks like a nice flat surface before attaching the head part. Uh, that you can uh, put a level on it. I use the uh, iPhone level. You, of course, can use a real level. Nice thing about cell phone levels um, is that they can measure two directions at once, which is really a nice time saver, and they're pretty accurate, actually. Okay, I've taken all the little boxes out, so let's see. This box got crushed, but it seems like it's supposed to be. Let's see what's in here. It's the hand controller. So this will let us set up the telescope, and um, uh, if we configure it right, we can even enter different object names like Jupiter or, uh, you know, M31 or something, and it'll slew directly to it. And that's it for this box. That is a very big box for something pretty small. Now this box is really heavy, so I'm guessing the counterweight's in here. It supposedly comes with Wow, one 11 pound counterweight. Ugh. And uh, I'm not totally sure if this will be enough of a counterweight. Uh, I gotta see if my old mount's counterweight will fit. Uh, if not, I may have to order another counterweight, but uh, we'll just have to see. So this box, let's see. It's mostly bubble wrap, so it looks like it has the holder for the uh, hand controller. Looks like a serial cable. That'll be uh, to help with auto guiding, probably. Uh, or maybe this, this is for the hand controller, not sure which. And looks like a car adapter to power the, uh, uh, the mount. 
and another spiral cable. Not sure what that's for. So we've got all that. Now, where did I put the scissors? Oh, I won't need it anyway. So this is for the actual business end of the mount. Here we've got the counterweight bar, nice and long. Hopefully that'll have enough leverage for my telescope. And uh, I'll look at these later, don't know what they are. But here is the mount. Oh, it's actually not as heavy as I thought. So there you go. Wow, that is, that's a real beauty actually. Uh, a lot of it seems to be made of machined aluminum, I would guess. And there's certain plastic parts. This part's plastic. Uh, that part's plastic. But all the major components seem to be machined aluminum. And here's the head where our telescope will go. This is a uh, Vixen style mount for any photographers familiar with uh, uh, the Arca Swiss mount. This is sort of the telescope version of it, a massive version. So let's get that out, see if there's anything else in here. Yeah, no, that's it. Yeah. So these are all the pieces. And now I should read the instructions so I know how to put this on. Well, I have the tube installed and everything seems to be working. Now, like I predicted, the 11 pound counterweight wasn't enough and I actually had to add the uh, counterweight from my old mount, which was 20 pounds. So we're almost 30 pounds of counterweight here. So this is a really heavy setup. And uh, the controllers here, I have it running in quick align mode. Uh, it has several different alignment modes, one star, two star, and uh, just depends how precise you want to be. Uh, right now, just since I have it inside, I have it in quick align mode. Now, I did make one mistake. I thought the declination motor wasn't working, which actually isn't critical, but it would be nice if it worked. But it turns out there's this other cable you need to attach to get the declination motor working. I have the power attached to a uh, car jump starter like this that has a 12 volt port on it, what we used to call a cigarette lighter port. And so that's all working. And now I can just use the uh, direction keys to slew the scope, both in right, as right ascension here and in declination. And so everything looks like it's working just fine. And uh, I don't think I'll be observing tonight. It's pretty cloudy today. But uh, I'll be observing with this as soon as I can and uh, we'll see how it goes. Probably I'll just initially try observing the moon, uh, see if it tracks that with rough tracking. And uh, then we'll go from there. And uh, uh, I'll also be getting a guide scope, uh, which I haven't ordered yet. Um, and I may actually order a better counterweight. This is uh, this old counterweight is not really designed for this, so I may do that. Um, but so far, everything's looking fine. And uh, I'll be doing a video on the telescopes and mounts, uh, so you can see this thing in action. So thanks a lot, and I shall talk to you later. Mm -hmm.